Hello, hello, my nasties. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, the pillows are destroyed. You know who did it, the dog. I don't bother fixing them at this point anymore. Why? I will fix them later. Today, not a big deal. Today we're gonna be talking. It's just gonna be a little catch up session that we're gonna have here because today I have a busy day. This is why gasp, I gaspeth because she's naked. Girl, why are you naked on camera? Not a single ring to speak of today, not a single necklace. Can you believe, when have you ever seen me like this, right? I mean, I'm sure I've been on camera in this state of disrepair before, but today is just a simple cami. It's, it's cute though, it's open. Look at the back. Oh, why is this so awkward? I can't do this while I'm seated on my chair. Woman, you're useless. Okay, well, you get it. Anyways, risque. Very plain otherwise, just a cami with some little biker shorts and a hat. No jewelry, but today's going to be a statement shoe day. I'm going to wear some really cute platforms today. It's all about balance, people. But I do have earrings on. We're going to be talking a little bit about this today because these are earrings that I am carrying in my boutique, my online boutique, Coco naughty which opened this month so let's go ahead and get into this video what are we going to talk about today i said today's going to be just a little chit chatty easy peasy let me just talk to the people and show them what i'm up to say hello show them my face say hi and we're just going to talk so allow me ugh, a sip of my it's just water today water with a splash of lemon bitters and just a plain old maple flavored black coffee so let's have let's have a little chit chat everybody gather around the campfire and let's have a little conversation should I should I change my background color I feel as though if I change my background color and my couches look this terrible it's just gonna negate the cuteness of it all right should I get us in the mood? Should I get us in the mood? You know what? I'm going to light an incense. I'm going to turn on my lamps. Give me one moment. If we're, if we're going to have a little, a little chit-chat session, let's make it worth it. And also, I need a perfume refresh. I have not sprayed perfume since early this morning, so let just, let's try that again. When I snap my fingers, everything is going to be just magically better. Or wait, what is, what is, what is that stupid little leprechaun say? Magically delicious. Okay, we ready? We ready? All right, how's that? Is that a little better? We've got the lighting on. I'm gonna have to turn it off right now anyways because I'm leaving the apartment and whatever. For the video, we'll turn it on. But we've got the lighting on. We've got an incense burner. Oh no, not there. I have two incense burners. That one can't see the smoke, but I promise you it's doing its smoky business. And today, I just did a refresh on my lotion and my fragrance. This was a limited edition from Bath & Body Works. It was gifted to me, just based purely on the fact that I enjoy smelling like, I always joke about this. I tell you that I enjoy flavors that taste like a witch's potion and I enjoy smelling like a witch's medicine cabinet. I just do. And this was purchased for me based on the scent notes and the color of the packaging. It's black, purple, and gold. Hi. And it is violet, sandalwood, and eucalyptus, and it smells exactly like you would think. It smells <laughs> like an herbal medication. It's gorgeous. You don't make it anymore. Of course, it wasn't popular. Everything I like is never popular because it's stanky. But my fragrance of the day is my my ride or die. This is not my signature fragrance, but this is one of the top three that's constantly in rotation. Terry Mugler's Alien. See that? Ooh, she's almost empty. Let's give us let's let's give ourselves another two. Mm, spooky lady. She smells like a spooky lady today. Sorry to anyone at the grocery store and Target that has to smell. My evil miasma wafting by as I walk by. But anyways, somebody just pull me back in. Pull me back in. 
Wait, how do you fish? That just goes to show you my lack of sportsmanship. How do you fish? It's like this, right? Just reel her back in. Just reel her back in. Okay, so let's talk about what has been going on in the previous month or two. We'll stick to primarily this month because this is going to be a vlogtober slash vlogoween video. And uh, we'll just let's just give you a quick summary. So we'll start with these. This is the big one. This is the big thing that happened this month. I opened my first art and fashion boutique. It is Coco Naughty. Ooh, she's a naughty girl. Um, what does that name mean? Where does it come from? I shameless plug. I'm going to send you over to the Coco Naughty YouTube channel. I have a series of videos in which I talk about the idea for the boutique and the creation process of that boutique. So I have a whole video dedicated to the name. Long story short, if you don't, if you just can't be bothered to go over there and watch. I enjoy tropical flavors. You guys know I'm very involved in the tropical cocktail scene, the tiki scene, all of that. I mean, hello, <laughs> the Palm Springs vampire. And uh, my, my favorite tropical flavor is coconut. And I will always drink any coconut cocktail, pina coladas, coconuts, coconati, get it? Coco, not, coco, nut, Carla with a K, Coco with a K. So essentially that's where the name came from. And the journey of creating a boutique is, it was pretty intense, but the writing was on the wall for, I was going to say months, but in truth it was years that I needed to make a drastic change in my life because nothing, nothing, nothing was working. Nothing was working. Um, I would incessantly try to make my grown-up career work, and it just never did. There was a period in time where I was flourishing, but I was flourishing under the thumb of someone else, constantly being told what to do, constantly being undermined, um, something that people don't discuss but when you are a graphic designer everything that you create while you are employed with someone else belongs to them and it's it's just it's just unfortunately it's it's a rule you know if i'm employed by x company just to protect that company um anything i produce for them i can't then underhandedly run away and take my work with me and gobble up other clients i can't take the company who's employing me i cannot take their clients away it is um, against the contract, it's illegal to do that, and basically, even though, um, yeah, I'm adjusting my bangs, leave me alone, she's she's a vain creature. You know what? I don't have a brush handy, so they're just gonna be, they're just gonna be a little funky. That's okay, we can live with the funky bang. So, you live your life as a creative, but you are still owned by someone else, and constantly being told your work is great but you're too weird or your work is great but we're gonna have you give half of your work we're gonna have you train someone else who gets paid much less than you and then eventually we'll give them a bulk of the work and we'll call you when we need you because we can't afford you it's all that sort of bullshit that made me go is being a creative for hire really what i want to do no no because this girl is nobody's bitch and that's what being a graphic designer was for me i was always beholden to someone else i was always someone else's bitch right i'm my own bitch be your own bitch okay and so um i'm stubborn and it had been ingrained in me for a long time that you know as an artist oh my god you're a loser it's not a real job la, 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 la. and I, I did I believed it and to a degree I still believe it right but I'm starting to finally break down those idiotic bricks right the bricks in this like giant wall that I've built around myself through the years I'm finally starting to kind of pick them off brick by brick and say you know what I'm an artist I'm a creative I love funky clothes I'm going to make it work for me. I'm going to make it work for me. And it's not going to be a fight anymore. I'm not going to be fighting to prove to people that I can do everything on my own. Because I always do everything by my own or on my own, right? I don't need anybody else dictating my day to day. 
I, I don't need that. I'm not one of those people. I can't function that way. So anyways, saying and doing are two different things. It took me a long time because I'm, I'm not shy. I'm not timid, right? And I don't shy away from a risk. But this is a huge one to make, to finally say, you know what? Proper adulting, this is the last time I will ever deal with a proper adult job, right? Making that decision, putting that final nail in that coffin was a tough one. It still is a tough one. I still can't believe I freaking did it, right? This was the year that I did it. And um, here we are. So you guys know that um, as much as I like to tell people, you know, be fearless, be bold, be blah, blah, blah. Even for me, there are occasions in which I falter in that thinking where I know that I need to do something, but the fire under my ass needs to just get cranked up a few notches. And it finally was this year. So I branched out on my own. I created a boutique. And if you guys remember, what what was the catalyst to all of this were those damn butterflies that were living outside. Remember the ones that were, if you were here, I mentioned them in vlogs. I mentioned them in... Um, uh, a sketchy Saturday. I know for a fact I talked about it in one of those where I was I was waffling. I was having a mental breakdown. I was waffling and the butterflies kind of reminded me like, hey, embrace your weird. Screw everybody who's handing you a paycheck. Do your thing. Be your own paycheck. So here I am. It's a paltry paycheck, but you know what? It's all mine now. So I created a boutique. These did I already mention that I carry these? I, I, I don't script my videos, so I don't know what I've talked about. I know kind of where I wanted to go in this video. I just wanted to give you a catch up on what I've been up to. And we finally reached the pinnacle of what had been building over the previous couple of years. My thinking about leaving proper adult life behind for good, that finally culminated in my putting an end to having a boss essentially early this year and from early on this year to now we have finally fully come into what my path is going to be moving forward for the next few years and that is developing myself as a business owner still scares the shit out of me if I'm being honest but now this is where we are moving so vlogtober slash vlogween Hi, this is a summary of what my life has been like for the whole year. It's been a whole lot of anxiety and fear and excitement and risk and a lot of money spending and a lot of trying things. And we are now at this point moving into the next phase of my life. The, my, I, we've reached my next evolutionary stage of moving into fully, full, 100% independence. And it's scary. I love it. And I won't say that word out loud because you know I hate it, but you know what that means. I effing love it. Okay, I do. So let's talk about what my channel is going to turn into in the coming months, in the coming year. Years. Surprise! Nothing is going to change. Nothing is going to change. I mean, what I mean by that as a whole is that I am not going to be changing my content necessarily. I'm not going to be disappearing. I'm not going to be rebranding my personal brand. No, everything is going to be, for the most part, the same. Um, we're going to have coloring videos. We are going to have vlog videos. We are going to have sketchy Saturday videos. That is going to be the bulk of my channel as it's been for the majority of this year, right? I finally fit a, uh, I finally found a groove with video types that I enjoy creating. That is going to be the sketchy Saturdays, the vlogs, and the coloring videos. Those are not going anywhere. Should I come up with any ideas for new content, new video series? Great, I'll pepper them in. But for the most part, everything is going to be essentially the same. Live videos will be happening next year. Uh, the numbers up until let, let's talk about this let's let's talk about this a new subject so we talked about the evolution of Carla right of her saying bye-bye to hashtag adulting cringe I hate that I even said that hashtag adulting okay but we've talked about letting go of adulting figuring out what the hell I wanted to do with my life starting a new boutique 
becoming fully independent, and now let's move forward on what we're doing. So now we're talking about, so we'll talk about my channel, we will talk about my brand, my personal brand, and then we'll talk about everything else, okay? So channel, I already talked about it, nothing is changing, that's fine. Next, uh, oh, but we'll talk about uh, the lives, okay? So live videos, about before we started with Vlogtober slash Vlogoween, I had been looking at my numbers and I thought, okay, so by the end of October, mid to early November, we should have reached the threshold that I wanted to reach, which is 3,000 subscribers. At 3,000 subscribers, I you guys know I've been saying it for months and months, for years now really, that once we reach 3,000, we are going to start dabbling in live video. I even purchased a prop for it. Take a look at my previous videos if they're still there, if they've not been deleted. I have no intention of deleting them right now, but you never know. Maybe Vlogoween Vlogtober will be obsolete and I will delete the videos someday. But as of this moment, that video is still up. You can see me holding the, the neon sign. Watch it if you care. But Vlogtober slash Vlogoween have, um, I hesitate to say that they have hurt or that it has hurt my channel because it has not necessarily hurt my channel, but it absolutely has not helped. Um, I have been participating in Vlogtober slash Vlogoween, which is where you upload a video every single day. It could be anything, as long as you upload a video every single day in the month of October. I have been doing exactly that, but each time I upload a video, people unsubscribe. So it could be a myriad of reasons why it could be just YouTube being YouTube and unsubscribing people for no reason because we all know that it does that. It could be people saying, you know what? The more we learn about this girl, the less we like her. So let's go. Totally fair. Another reason could be Well, those are really the only reasons, right? YouTube just unsubscribes people or people just don't like me. So, and, and those are all very fair and valid reasons, but it's also not bringing people into the channel. And there are reasons for that as well. I do not pay for advertising. I do not play the YouTube game in which I follow trends and I don't, I mean, you can tell how completely, but just the lack of professionalism that my channel is. It's very casual, just very me and you just chit chatting and whatever. YouTube doesn't like that and it doesn't favor that. So it doesn't expose my videos to other people. And quite frankly, the videos that I upload are not, they're not necessarily educational. They're not mind blowing, right? So it's not the kind of content people are seeking. So Vlogtober slash Vlogoween just didn't do anything here or there for my channel, positive or negative. My channel's just been coasting all month. But that being said, every time I upload a video, new people are not coming in, which is fine, but people are leaving, which is also fine, but it's an issue when we wanna play with live videos, right? We, we have that benchmark and we can't because not getting fresh blood in, but a lot of people are leaving. So it's just, our schedule for live videos is probably now realistically where I was thinking we were going to meet the 3,000 by early to mid-November. We're probably now, with the way that the numbers are going now, we probably won't reach 3,000 until late winter to early spring of next year. You're probably appalled by that, right? Carla, your channel grows so slowly. It does. I only get about 10 new subscribers per month that's it so for a while we were on the we were on the roll we were on like a good one we were getting like 35 to 40 subscribers per month now it's it's down to a trickle so lives are coming eventually next year so we've already been talking about the channel for so long nothing is going to change on my channel everything is going to be essentially the same we might dabble in some experimentation here or there but for the most part the same lives will be coming eventually now we'll check off that my etsy shop I, I've been telling you guys for months now that my Etsy shop is evolving. This will be the last year that I will have originals in my shop in the scope that I've had them that I have had them in over the previous few years. I liked the idea of creating my own kind of art gallery, my own art shop on Etsy and displaying my originals. 
but I just don't like the way that Etsy looks aesthetically. I don't, having originals on Etsy just doesn't feel right anymore. The Etsy has an exorbitant amount of fees and it just, it feels very, um, it just, it, it's not, it doesn't feel to me like the home for originals anymore. That's not to say that I will never sell originals on my Etsy shop because I anticipate having a few sprinkled in throughout the year, you know, maybe, I, well, I don't even wanna give it a number because I'm not sure, but I will certainly offer an original or two every now and then on my Etsy shop. But the primary focus of my Etsy shop moving forward is going to be stickers, art prints, signed books, I'm going to be producing, hopefully, this is something that I really want to explore next year, but I want to start dabbling into stationary goods, such as notepads, um, and, and I don't know, God knows what else. We'll see. You guys know that I love paper. I'm always, as a matter of fact, I'll show you the notepads that I'm using right now. This is one with the palm trees. This is the one that I use for cocoa Naughty, Miss Naughty Naughty Girl. And then this one, I can't show you what I was writing here yesterday, is one that I've been using. This is just my, my general desk pad, the one that I have on my desk for, for work, for everything else, is these cute little Day of the Dead autumnal sugar skulls. So I love paper. I use it a lot. Um, my post-it note, yes, they're purple, okay. So I want to, oh, and speaking of my to-do lists that I designed myself, I love that sort of thing. And I've always known that I enjoyed stationery and such, but since I started hitting the sticker creation really, really hard this year, I'm beginning to feel reinvigorated when it comes to creating consumer goods, that sounds so gross, like consumer. I think a consumer good is like glassware and anything that you can find at Target, right? But um, I, I don't know, I, well, what's the correct jargon for it? I don't know, just cute, hand-designed, customized products that are mass-produced. Like with consumer goods, just girl, just say it. Just say it, consumer goods. So, I'm realizing how much all of that stuff has always made it, it's always made me happy. I love stationary products. I love beautifully designed books. I have some books up here. Um, you want to see what else I have up here? Speaking of beautifully designed goods, tarot cards, beautiful paper. I love things like that. And so I want to explore that part of myself as an illustrator, as an artist, and I want Etsy to be the vehicle in which I can offer my consumer goods to the public. So that's where my Etsy shop is going. Phasing out originals in favor of creating a more gift shop experience. Stickers, postcards, prints, coloring books, stationery, all that kind of stuff. So that's Etsy. Now let's briefly discuss my brand. You're probably saying, wait, you've spent three hours talking about everything, your new brand, your personal brand. What happened to Cat Eyes and Cacti? Whatever happened to that brand? She's not going anywhere. If you don't know what Cat Eyes and Cacti is, Cat Eyes, I mean, enunciate your T's. I flip flop between enunciating my T's and not doing it. I don't know why. Just enunciate. Okay, Cat Eyes and Cacti. Cacti. That brand is not going anywhere. I just have no new developments to speak of when it comes to that brand. If you do not know what it is, if you are unaware, I created a brand several years ago when I moved to Palm Springs called Cat Eyes and Cacti. And it was inspired by my love of all things retro, of architecture, of Palm Springs, and the desert as a whole. It is not specifically a Palm Springs brand. It just started that way. So I released several coloring books under that name and I have an entire line of stickers and it's just coasting that's what we're doing it's stickers it's coloring books it's Palm Springs 
and nothing major, nothing is changing with that brand. I want to continue on the road that it's going. I want to create another coloring book perhaps, expand the line of stickers, and possibly maybe also dabble into the stationery as well. So no new developments. No, blah, 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 blah. If you are interested in seeing what I'm up to with that brand, I do have a Instagram and a, pardon the text message, never fails, right? Every time I'm sitting here chatting with you guys, someone sends me a text message. So I have an Instagram and I have a YouTube channel. Now, one thing that I do want to do a little bit more of for Cat Eyes and Cacti next year is explore my video series on YouTube. I have a video series on YouTube called Meet Me in Palm Springs, where I take people to different locations in Palm Springs and we just chat about it for a few minutes. Very sporadic uploads. I upload maybe one of those videos every two to three months. It's nothing major, but if you are interested in seeing where I live and what I do and my life as cat eyes and cacti, go check out that channel, that Etsy shop, that Instagram. So no new developments there, nothing crazy. That's that. And Coco Naughty, who I spent a lot of time talking about in this video, that is going to be um, where a bulk of my attention is going in the coming months and years. And you will you will find out why gradually, but we're, we're taking baby steps into that realm at this moment. Right now, the, I mean, this has been such an undertaking. It is unbelievable the amount of time, the amount of money, the amount of money it takes to start a boutique. It's a lot. And I already know that I'm going to screw up a lot. I already know that I'm going to spend a lot. It's going to cost me. I'm already dreading tax year or doing my taxes next year because I'm going to get super, triple, quadruple screwed. I already know that. But they, these are the things that one must learn as a business owner, as an independent person. I have no one around to help me. I don't have anyone who has started their own business. I, I don't know anybody who does this sort of thing. I'm all on my own and unfortunately, learning and growing comes with a lot of mistakes and it comes with a lot of risk and it's gonna come with a lot of spending. That's just the way it is, unfortunately. When have you ever seen me take a lavish vacation? When have you ever seen me walking around with designer clothing, right? It's because I choose not to do that. My life is incredibly expensive. I'm single, I live in California, and now I am fully, full-time, 100% a creative. I'm not making what I used to in terms of an income because I no longer have a boss, I no longer have a steady job. So we're flip-flopping, we're learning, but at the end of the day, I'm happier now. Is every day scary? Can things be a little bit of a struggle? Yeah, 100%. So please don't believe that my life is all sunshine and rainbows and cocktail parties. Absolutely not. I struggle a lot, but I work hard and it's working. It's working. You just have to be patient and dedicated. So that's where I am. That's where I'm moving for the in the coming year. My personal brand, absolutely not going anywhere. And this is who I am, the spooky purple lady who draws spooky cute girls and spooky cute things. Absolutely not going anywhere. Let's just summarize this video. My personal brand, not going anywhere. My YouTube channel, not going anywhere. Nothing crazy, just keep on coasting. My Etsy shop will be evolving. Originals, out the door. Saying that, if you would like an original, go hop over to my Etsy shop. Um, everything that I have in there will be available until the end of December, end of December, early January, right, right until the new year. And whatever does not sell, I'm either just going to keep or I'm going to toss. Um, I will probably keep it, but uh, if you want an original, now's the time to get it because they are not going to linger after the new year. Etsy shop is going to be evolving into something else. Originals are going, for the most part, bye-bye. Cat Eyes and Cacti, my other brand. No crazy developments. Just going to keep coasting on that one. Posting a few more videos next year in my Meet Me in Palm Springs series. Just easy, painless, for funsies videos. More sticker designs for that. Maybe a new coloring book for that. That's it. 
we're leaving it there. Coco Naughty. Ooh, that is going to be where oh, the, the circus is. The freak show is, is at Coco Naughty next year. I mean, it's here too on my personal brand, but it's also going to be on Coco Naughty because starting a business, exploring all of that. I'm not going to get too into it now what my plans are for next year, but there's a lot. There's a lot. And there are going to be growing pains. So that's another reason why I'm kind of keeping my personal brand and Cat Eyes and Cacti a bit low key, right? Because I've learned that, yes, of course, I am not superwoman. I cannot do everything. And in order for me to be successful in my three, I was going to say my three halves, that makes no sense. But I'm now comfortable existing on three planets because all three of my planets intermingle they all speak to one another and they're all interconnected and i know that they all require a different amount of attention they all get the same amount of love but they all require different amounts of attention my personal brand is the easiest because this has been me this is what i've been doing forever cat eyes and cacti is the one that requires the least amount of brain power the least amount of work it's just I've got some free time today. I'm going to design a couple of stickers. I'm going to fire them off and order them and update the Etsy shop when they get here. Boom. Easy. That's painless. Love doing it. That's exploring a different facet of my life and personality that I cannot explore in my personal brand and that I can't really explore with Coco Naughty, right? It's just, it's just kind of standalone. So that's cat eyes and cacti. Coco Naughty is art and it's fashion. It's becoming a business owner and sourcing new products and vintage, which baby, that's probably my favorite part of Coco Naughty is the vintage part of it, the vintage clothing. And it's a lot, it's a lot. Running an online boutique is a lot and I'm freaking loving it so far. This has been a long little, should we call it a fireside chat? It's kind of what this has been. It's just been me dear diarying basically all over you guys. So thank you. Thank you for hanging out, for watching and or listening to what I've been up to. <sighs> Nobody in my life really knows what's going on. You guys do because you are watching it happen. You are watching it unfold in real time. The people that I speak to in my real life, there's a couple people who know. Okay, let's let's let me not pretend that I'm, you know, a a bona fide hermit loner who speaks to absolutely nobody. No. People know right oh carla started a new business yesterday oh carla you know is doing this in her other store like people are aware but everyone else no one else gets the behind the scenes peak right that you all do and to be fair you guys only see a teeny tiny fraction of it because i put only a teeny tiny fraction of my life on the channel but you guys do see more than most so for that thank you for your patience thank you for your support thank you for just hanging out every time you hit that like button, you leave me a comment, both here on YouTube or on Instagram, they make a huge difference because you guys know I'm a teeny person, I'm not a huge machine, I never pay for advertising, I never pay for my posts to be bumped, I never pay for any of that. And that's the only way for people really to get noticed now on social media. YouTube and Instagram want to see the likes or the dislikes, they don't really care, they don't discriminate, whether it's a like or a dislike, either or, it counts as engagement. They want to see engagement. They want to see comments. That This is just the, the, the machine, the algorithm. They want to see that because if they see people leaving a like or a dislike or leaving a comment, that tells the algorithm gods that I am worth sharing. That's just the name of the game. It is a popularity contest. That's just how it is. So thank you all for helping me in any way that you can, whether you purchase a sticker, whether you purchase every damn item in my shop, whether you support my new boutique or not, doesn't matter. You can purchase or you can watch my videos, look at my posts, like them, leave me a comment. Everything helps. Yes, let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. In this world, money means everything. If I was not making money, if I was not selling in my Etsy shop, if I did not sell in my boutique, I wouldn't be here doing this now, right? So yeah, I'm not going to lie to anyone and say, I don't do this for the money, I don't need any of it, blah, blah, blah. No, that's not true. This is now my job. 
The kicker is, is that now I'm making what I love my job. I want to be happy earning a living and I want to make other people happy with what I am creating. It's taken me long enough to realize that what I do is not as frivolous as people tend to think it is. Creatives are necessary. We are, people need entertainment. Let's take it back to the Great Depression. Let's take it back to wartime years, right? Great Depression, everybody was starving, nobody had any money, it was awful, and yet they would save their pennies to go to the movie theater and escape for a couple of hours, right? During wartime, everybody's anxious, everybody's depressed, everybody's on edge, but we enjoy escaping with books or with painting or buying a candy bar. Just any little thing, any escapism is absolutely necessary. And I'm here to provide that. I'm here to provide that on my channel, with my coloring books, with the clothing and the wares that I'm carrying at Coco Nati. I can't just stop, I, I can't stop smiling when I mention this boutique. It's just, it's so cute. It's so tacky, fabulous. Go follow that YouTube channel, the Instagram, if you would like. You don't have to, of course, but I will have the links down below so you can at least go peruse the boutique if you're curious about what I'm creating over there. It's still a baby. We're still in, in the very early stages, but it's going to grow into something bigger, I hope. That's the dream, right? Even if you do not care about fashion, remember that I am carrying artwork over there as well. So if you are curious about that artwork, go follow the Coconati Instagram and the YouTube channel if you care. All right, I could go on blah, blah, blahing into infinity because you guys know your girl can talk. She can talk for hours. But I think we've pretty much covered everything that needed to be said. I've told you guys what my life has been like, told you what I'm up to currently, where my plans are moving forward. And there you have it. Thank you for hanging out. If you have been one of the few people who have been enjoying my daily videos, thank you. From the bottom of my sparkly little black heart, thank you. Uh, unfortunately, this means there will probably not be Vlogtober slash Vlogoween next year. It just, it, it, you know what I mean? It, it just doesn't, there's no need for it if people don't really care about it, so I'm not, I'm not going to bother. But uh, Carloween will always exist. Hashtag Carloween on Instagram. Thank you to Kate for creating that, by the way. Always. She, I'm indebted to her forever. By the way, uh, there's still a freebie on my website, my personal website. I have a coloring page. It's a freebie coloring page featuring a highly stylized, highly ideal, highly, listen to me, highly <laughs> idealized, cartoonified version of me as a coloring page for everyone. It's not just for patrons or anything. It's just, it's publicly available to everyone for free. Download the page, color it, hashtag Carloween. And with all of that being said, thank you to everyone for being here, for my YouTube subscribers, my followers on Instagram, and a huge to my patrons. I look forward to bringing you so many more coloring pages next year. And that's going to do it for today. Again, I could keep talking, but someone's got to stop her. Someone's got to stop her. <laughs> be bad, be good. I do not give a damn which. Just come back in one piece, and I will see you tomorrow.